Hello people, how are you? This is Technology Future Channel and today I'm making a video about top 10 advices to be from the top 10 in Fortnite. Always almost will be top 10 in Fortnite, maybe top 15. But not more, you will be a dominating player. Advice number one. Never play Dio mode without an actual person that you know, an actual friend, which you can easily add. One of your friends that you can add to play with you using her party finder, a real person, like you already know. Because Dio is only for an actual people with actual knowledge. You need chemistry to win. Without chemistry, you can't win. And of course, as I don't play Dios. I prefer solo or squad. Squad you can, you can play better since they are four. But when you they are two, you will only need. So today we are gonna play solo. So this is my advice number one. Never play. Never. Play. Dio. No player. Advice number two. The location. The location. You know the location of jumping is very very important to survive so that you won't be eliminated in the first period of the game in case you didn't get a good gun or in case someone got a gun first and shot you and you didn't even have any gun to do. But as the most location for people to go to is the title towers or the pleasant park, these areas. Some people go to Rattle Row or Tomato Town. But the idea is that these places is the actual places that you should avoid if you are looking to survive. If you are not a great gamer that you can take out all your opponents or most of them, you should look for survival as is the sec second tactic to use. The first tactic is fighting straight battles which is not suggested because you can kill someone and get killed just by surprise. So the jumping point and we check that it's coming from this area. So I'm gonna try to get some of the small houses in this area or this area, which in usual occasions, nobody is there. Usually you cannot find anybody there. Or if you find it's one person and you definitely should be able to take one person down in some occasions. And the third method is way of jumping. And when we speak about way of jumping, it's not necessarily to jump straight when you reach the point jump. Jump up ahead of the place you want to jump. And up for us, it's here. As I said, I will take one of these small houses. Now, the way of jump should be straight. This is the fastest way to reach the ground. You jump straight. Like this. Then, while the glider goes up, you just walk toward the place. And if the place is far and you need time, you can go in circles, which will make you go down very, very, very fast speed. So this is jump location. And as you realize, there is someone jumping with me. So I should be able to obtain any gun fast. A very other good advice. We always use shotguns for We always use shotguns for inside houses. We never use shot AKs We never use AKs for inside house fighting. Never because you never know, usually the other person will have a shotgun, he will shoot you with it, it kills so fast, it's unpredictable. So I do not suggest. And I think our friend came here and took the weapons or he did not. 
Okay. In all conditions, this is our first advice. And as you see here, we collected some weapons. 10 bandages, 44 bullets of ammo for AK. And we're in a good position for a fight. And here is another city ahead of us. Which, as I said before, I don't suggest going to those cities. Especially at the start of the game, because we know at the start of the game there are so many players that are in those cities. So the chances that you get killed is big since many of them will be shooting. You might kill someone and then someone kill you from somewhere you can't see. It happens in a very, very high rate. So now after we reach this area, which we know for 100% you can see someone is there even without hearing the bullets, we already know and I don't suggest always start shooting unless if you are gonna shoot the person which apparently I could not, was not able to and as we can see there is someone here which we can see from here Shot him. Now after they build the wall you should take a very good thing that if you don't have a grenade launcher or a grenade launcher, rocket launcher, apparently you should just leave because there is no way you can fight with these people. Without a very strong weapon or the other gun that I really like, the machine gun, which is an amazing gun. And I really suggest in many cases. So one of the good advice is that in many positions you can turn around your opponents. It does not always need to be a straight fight. Another good advice when you run, it doesn't necessarily you look ahead. You can see at your sides with using the camera and ahead at the same time, which allows you, really allows you to see other enemies if they are nearby someone wanna shoot you from the sides of course you can't see who will shoot you from the back they're just gonna shoot you which did not happen this time lucky me so as I said before the small houses they have very good amounts of guns and very very lower chance to meet enemies you can meet enemies, it's a very... It's what is this game made for? To fight! But I prefer the surviving way to do in this game than the fighting. Because apparently many people are so great and if you don't have those great abilities, what to do then? Because it's not nice to always play and lose from the start. It's like you haven't played. This is a very good gun, the damage trap. Many people go through it because so I always search for the secret spots in those houses. In 80% of the times there is my favorite. Now this uh, box always has a great gun. Oh, not this time apparently, a hand cannon. I like this gun, it can kill in few shots and it's very precise. But not what I hoped, I hoped to get a sniper or something, but it's okay. So now we have to run as fast as possible to get, and never forget the storm of course. To run faster you always put a smaller weapon. It actually runs faster, you can see that he runs faster with a bandage and you can see with these very very small steps we did there are some advices I gave you now we're up to 32, best 32 the game started with 96 I think or 93 I'm not sure players and now we're at 32 players so I will leave for you the idea to think of the how much good the things I've done, they were.
How many fights we engaged? We shot at two people. Yes. But how many actual fights? How many people we killed? We killed only one person. One person we killed and we're from the top 29. Some people think they have to kill 10, 15 people to be to win this game, but not necessarily. Not necessarily as I said before and I want to just to repeat to make sure for you. First, m another advice, make sure to always have so much material. You never know when you will use material. And take from trees, trees have like 90. Oh, uh, trees around have, every tree has around 50. You can see someone there, but our gun doesn't have the capability to shoot. It's very hard to see if it, there is even someone there. Now we can see that people left or are tending to leave the pleasant park. I hate rifles as many other players and there is a player there we will try to shoot. And they killed us. Take those advices and you for sure will finish in the top 25. I know I said at the start of the video you might finish in the top 15 or top 10, but the top 25 and I don't think it's a bad thing. Thank you all for watching. Subscribe please for more videos of different games. I, I'll be uploading videos for FIFA soon. Hope to get your views. I hope to get your subscribes. Subscribe on the page. Thank you.